All right, what's up guys? Now, before we dig into today's topic, uh, if you're brand new to our channel, if you have been watching a couple of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, this way we can grow our channel. I can get this message in front of more coaches. And I do believe today's video is gonna help a lot of people in the future, um, whether you are a personal trainer, coach, business owner, um, even if you run any type of business, it doesn't matter to me. Um, and this is something I wish, I wish I would have made this video about a year ago. I think this would have helped a lot of people. Um, and after the coronavirus hit, like I've been bombarded with questions, with you know a lot of people who are scarcity minded, um, you know, and it, it's been kind of sad. It's been sad to see you know a lot of business owners were not prepared for something like this uh, financially. And today I'm going to be talking about a couple of things that are going to help you out with your business, whether something like that, this happens again, or if things go back to normal. And these are, I think are just very fundamental uh, lessons about money within your business. And before I dig in, all right, I'm just going to make this really clear. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial guru. Uh, I'm talking from experience and I'm also talking from a massive sample size of coaches that I've been able to help over the last now five years, right? So this isn't just me making up information, I'm talking from real world experience. And whether you are a you know successful business owner where you're making a lot of money um, or you're just starting out this video is going to apply to you okay now let me talk about the first thing first which is before coronavirus there's a lot of companies uh, within sports or within personal training there's a lot of gyms that were just absolutely crushing it uh, everybody was doing great um, and the majority of people, what they do though, is when their business gets better, they start spending more money, right? Their lifestyle tries to go up with the amount of money they make rather than saving or investing. And one of the principles I've learned, and I've learned this way more since I've been married, is when you start to elevate your business, right? That means you can do one of two different things. You can try to be like one of these big ballers on Instagram and, and, and flex on people and pose that you have a lot of money and, and be posing, you know, these, this brand new car or all of these vacations or all of this stuff, or you can be smart with your money and be frugal right? One thing that you'll never see me do, like, you're not going to see me rolling around in the car I drive in. I'm not going to be taking photos of that. Um, you don't need to know what kind of car I drive, right? You're not going to see me posing, uh, in Greece by the blue water, <laughs> right? Don't need to do that. But one of the things that people do is once they start making more money, they're like, Oh, well, I'm just going to spend more now. And it's a hamster wheel that people cannot get off of for some reason. And so here's what I want you to do. Very simple exercise is we need to understand what is your budget, right? What is your budget? How much money, to the dollar and cent amount, are you spending per month? Are you wasting it? Are you going out and, and buying drinks every weekend, spending four or $500 a month on drinks, right? Which a lot of people do. Um, are you paying for stuff that, that you know that you don't even need? Most of us do. Uh, and what I've seen and I've seen this, I've, I've noticed this like, like, a, like a hawk in the sky as I've been watching. Coaches who are really successful ultimately 
are good with managing money. When money comes in, they have systems. They're not just like closing a sale and then going to spend money on a car, right? So this comes down to you. You have to be smart with what you do. Sure, you could go blow it off, but guess what? When the next virus hits, are you, you're going to go back to being broke again, which a lot of people are. All right. I talked, I talked with someone um, a couple of days ago. Their business was doing $30,000 a month. And he was probably spending ten to $15,000 a month on bull crap. Right? And I can guarantee you, before he started his business, he wasn't spending nearly that amount on anything. But because his business was doing better, as he was making more money, he was spending more money. And that's the thing. There's, there's so much misinformation out there online. You see people posing by jets. You see people posing by cars. If I want to right now, I can call up a, a company that will go, um, I can go rent an hour photo shoot by, by a Lamborghini or, or by a jet. Right? A lot of people do that. And then a lot of people who go, who go buy that stuff don't even really have the money for it because they want to impress others. And that's the thing with your business. Do you want to impress other people or do you want to accelerate the results with the clients that you're working with and make more money and save more money? Right. And so that puts you in, in one or two different categories. You can either be the guy who's, who's flexing on everyone who's wasting a bunch of money. Um, and it, and it doesn't matter. You can make a hundred thousand dollars a month. If you're spending $90,000 a month, you're broke and you wouldn't even be able to do that legally because you have to pay taxes. Right? So you're either going to be spending all the money that you make, or you're going to be saving slash investing. Uh, and I'm not going to give you like, investment strategies or ideas. I'm not going to do that. But what I will say is what you do with your money is going to determine how financially secure you are. Like, <clears throat> and a good question to ask yourself, if you today saw zero income come into your business for the next six months, would you be able to survive? Like, would you be able to eat dinner? That's assuming zero income comes in for the next six months. Yes or no? Most people would say no because they're late, like they're spending money like paycheck to paycheck. As they make more money, more money goes out. All right. Now, here's, here's what I'm trying to tell you is the vast majority of business owners do that. The vast majority of coaches who've emailed me over the last couple of weeks, they do that. And when you just take a step back and you see what's happened over the last month or so, even you look at huge companies that are, are going under right now, right? They have a lot more pressure than someone who just has a small business. Like if you, even if you have a small business of like five coaches that work for you or five people that work for you, or you're just, like doing your own business by yourself, you have way less pressure, but that should mean that you're a lot more nimble with how you can move and, and what you can do with your money. And, and there's less responsibility to provide for other people that are working for you. Right? So that that's where we have to take a step back and analyze, you know, what's your financial goal? How much money do you want to save per year? how much money do you want to invest per year? Like the only way you can do that obviously is by generating income, but being smart with what you do with it. Right. And here's the thing. No one likes to talk about money for some reason. Right. I'm comfortable talking about money here on YouTube because a lot of, coaches that we've helped have generated a lot of income. <laughs> uh, I have a pretty good track record of that. And, um, I've also made a lot of mistakes with that. So, I mean, I know I'm not perfect. 
I'm probably 1% to where I want to be as far as the, the amount of wisdom that I want to have about, you know, money and how, how that works and how to expand it, how to multiply it. Like, so I, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I'm not, but what I will say is when you take a step back and you analyze and you look, all right, the coronavirus happened. If you just go look back at your bank statements and you'll see all of the money you've been wasting. And then that should hit you in the face and make you realize, crap, why did I do that? And then if that doesn't teach you a lesson going into the rest of the year to stop spending money on stuff like that, then you're just going to repeat that, that cycle, which I know so many people are going to run into. They're going to go back to their old spending habits. Um, and then they're not going to, to really treat it like a business. And that's, that's the other thing. Most business owners don't treat it like a business. They treat it like it's a, it's a money generating system. And then I use that so I can spend money. That's not how you should approach your, your business. And the reason why I'm going in, into depth here about this is because this virus, all right, I'm going to just call it, you know, this particular time has devastated a lot of businesses and it's forcing a lot of people who did not have money allocated to shut down their business which means those who were, who were a little bit smarter with their finances are going to be able to swallow up all of the clients when things do go back to normal. And then when things happen again, which I believe they will, I think there's going to be something else like this is going to happen. Of course, it's going to happen again within the next 10 years. It might happen again within the next, next year. Are you going to be ready for that? So like, are you just going to go back to your old spending habits or are you going to start like analyzing, understanding, you know, what's my budget? How much money can I be spending per month? How much money should I be generating? Like, and know that to the dollar and cent amount. And if you're not tracking that, then when something like this happens again, you're done. All right. And I know this isn't, this isn't a message most of you want to hear because you're thinking right now, well, I need to find a way to make money right now. Right. And I know for me, I know for a lot of the clients I'm helping right now, right? Like I'm hopping on a bunch of phone calls later today. Like the best way to not only survive during this time, but thrive is going to be through virtual training. Uh, it's going to be through online mentoring. It's going to be through creating alternative ideas where you don't rely on in-person training. And this is why, right. And I've said this like a couple of years ago on YouTube. So th this isn't just like this time right now, but this is why if you are setting those things up now in the future, when something like this happens again, it's, it shouldn't affect your finances at all. There's a couple of people that I'm helping right now that were absolutely crushing it before this happened. And they are crushing it even more now since this happened because they were set up online and because they took the time a year, two years ago, six months ago. So this thing didn't even phase them. It actually helped them grow their business how it's been for me. I've been able to grow my business over the last month, right? Instead of staying stagnant or, or dropping. Okay. With that being said, take a look at yourself in the mirror. Go look at your, your bank statements. Go, go see what you're spending money on and go see how wasteful you are. And when you do that, right, it should be a slap in the face and, and hopefully that wakes you up. It makes you realize, all right, you know, yes, I was making more money, but I was also spending more money. So I need to cut that out and I need to allocate this. So I'm better organized. 
So when something like this does happen again, I don't have to shut my business down. All right. And the cool thing about that is like, you don't have to be a genius to do that. You just have to literally go log into your banking system and go look like the proof is on the paper. That's not going to lie. Like those are transactions you have made, you have chosen. And, uh, I hope this helps out and I'll tell you if I know, and I created this video really because I've gotten a lot of emails and I'm going to send everyone to this video because I know if, if we come into this spot again, where there's another virus, there's another economic uh, disaster that people are talking about, uh, which really isn't true unless you believe that. Like if you are resourceful, this is, this is an opportunity, right? But like whenever something like this happens again, I'm going to send, send you here because it's a reality check with what you do with your money. And I've seen too many people over the last four and a half, five years who start making a lot of money and they start spending all of it. And they, they want to increase their lifestyle to either impress others or impress themselves, whatever it is. And I'm all for you. You can do whatever you want because it is your money. But if you're not prepared for something like this, then you're out of a business. So all that money you made is worthless. All right? So that's all I got to say today. Hopefully this video helps you. Um, I would say go through the exercise I talked about today. Go look at your bank statements, look yourself in the mirror, like, and then, Go write out a budget. Be like, this is how much I'm spending on uh, my mortgage. This is how much I'm spending on my apartment. This is how much I'm spending on food. This is how much I'm spending on gas. Here's how much I'm going to spend on entertainment, whatever it is. Here's how much I'm going to spend on my business. Right? And that's the other thing too. A lot of people don't like to invest into their business. They like to just go and buy things that fill up their life. All right. And I can, I'm going to create a whole nother video about that, about why you should increase the amount of money you're spending on your business. So you can fast track what you do. All right. That's it guys. Uh, if you have any questions for me, if you want to be one of those coaches who goes online and you're really prepped and you want that to be an alternative income stream, shoot me a text at 210-960-5771. Send that to me today. I'll get back to you today and I can't wait to chat with you. See you later.